Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Ventures. Have you ever been out camping, out doing some radio work, whatever you've been doing, and you need to charge your batteries or need to charge something? Well, I've got something for you guys today that you're gonna like. Spoiler alert, it's pretty good. This is the Afri Solar Generator. Let's check it out. All right, guys, let's uh, do a little unboxing here. I actually have had it out of the box before just to look at it. And to tell you the truth, I took it for a weekend trip, but I put it back in the box for you guys just so you could see how it came packed. Now, I did have a little damage here in this corner. Uh, pretty much the only place, a little bit, all the corners have a little bit, but I will tell you that there was nothing wrong with the unit. It was uh, packed very well. So let me pull this up for you. Pull this down. Now I did come with an instruction booklet. We'll probably take a look at that in a little bit. Um, it shows, shows extended five-year warranty. Now, I don't know exactly how to say this, but AFRI is the way I would say it. It's A-F-E-R-I-Y. All right. And show some kind of discount thing. I'll have to check that out something later. Now I did come in here with a, a box of parts. I'll pull those out for you in a second. Now let's just pull this thing out. This is, it's pretty compact guys, a lot smaller than the box because of the way it was packed. Let me just pull it out. I will get rid of the box so we have more room here. Now, let me turn it around for you. So it came packaged just like this. So let's pull these off. And we'll pull this one off. There we go. Let's get rid of that also. So there it is. And I will tell you that this thing worked flawlessly for me. Uh, and, and and as a disclaimer, Efri did send this to me uh, in exchange for a review and a video. They did not tell me what to say. All the opinions are my own. As usual, guys. If it wasn't that way, I wouldn't do it. All right, let me just, let me turn something on here. You're going to see that it's pretty low. It needs to be charged right now. And I will go through the video here and I will let you, I'll show you what I charged and, and how much I used it. I use this thing a lot. So let me just kind of go through a few things for you here. Let me, there's a light here. It probably will still work. Very bright. Look at that thing. Oh, even brighter. Okay, so it has two high settings there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Okay, as you see, it has a DC section, a PD 60 watt, PD 18, a QC 18 watt, twice, two of those. It has a USB 5 volt and a USB 5 volt, 12 volt, or a DC 12 volt and a DC 12 volt. So you can, this is things that you can run things off of. I could probably run my little radio off of this. I did charge my 705 off this, guys, a couple of times from uh, at least two thirds down. Here we've got the AFERI, A F E R I Y. I'm not exactly sure of the pronunciation of that, but it shows right now it is uh, anywhere from 10 to 8 watts out. I've got a iPhone up on top here. Start the glare. A, uh, a iWatch or Apple Watch, and then two of my microphones, which I'm not using right now because uh, they're charging. As you can see, the blinking light and the charge light there. So this whole weekend, that's what we're going to use for charging all of our products. Okay, so it does have the electric here, and this is a pure sine wave. We'll look in the uh, specs a little bit later to let you guys know what all the specs are for this thing, how big it is, and you know how long it takes to charge with the charger. And to charge it, you have your input here. Now this is for, you can do this on 110, um, at least that's what I've got it for, and you can also do solar into that. So, and later on we're gonna show you how it works on the solar and the, uh, the 110. Now, one of, the, one of the ways you can charge this also, I didn't mention, is you can charge this with your your cigarette lighter out of your car. Now I would say that you probably need to be running or have a, a dedicated cigarette lighter that has a big enough wiring up to it to make sure it works. Now here we have this. 
is the end here, okay? And that just plugs in. This thing is probably about six, eight feet long. I don't, I actually didn't take it out. Now something else they have here too. This is, uh, it would be for, let me leave this up here. Now this, this would be for, um, then to plugging it into one of these 12 volts here in case you had something that needed a cigarette lighter. So that's just another option that it came with. Now this is the, uh, the 110 and it has a little light here that comes on when you charge it and it gives you all the specs on the back here and it plugs in right there. The other side here goes into this side of the plug here. And I will say that when I used this, I forgot to charge it before I left on my trip. It was only up to 92%. So it would probably still actually have some battery left over right now if I had charged it all the way. So I was about 8% short of full charge. All right, let me uh, set some other stuff up and we will show you what we charged, how long we used it, and how well it worked. Okay, guys, I wanted to uh, just show you what I charged while I was gone. I was gone for four days. This right here is my Rode Wireless Go 2. And I have, I, I charged three of these. I think I only charged them once because I don't think I used them after that much, if any. Okay, so that was one of the things I charged. Okay, my wife's uh, I, I watch. I guess that's what you call them. I don't have one. I charged this two or three times and the first time it was pretty much dead. Okay, my iPhone. I charged this, shoot, three or four, at least three times and usually it was down below 50 percent so pretty good there also when i got back i was looking this thing still had let me just turn it on for you guys now that was after an hour of charging with the uh the 120 the 110. now this right here is a it's a battery for a electric coat and it uh it's 10,000 milliamps so pretty big it took quite a while to charge this I used this when I got back just to try to kill the battery. Like I said, when I got back, I had about half left. I actually ended up killing with this. This is my IC705 radio. And this was the last thing I charged with after I got home. I may have charged it a couple times while I was there just to keep the internal battery up. And it's got a decent size, but I don't, it was down by half. Well, actually it was down two thirds when I got home. All right, so here's my iPad. Now I charged this about, um, Three times I think I was there. But not only did I do that, I streamed for two and a half hours with this hooked up to the Afri. That was a lot of the big chunk of what I used. Now it did keep up. Now when I got done with my um, streaming, I had about 98% battery left. So it did pretty well. Um, also, my son had a watch. It was, I don't know if it was an eye, it wasn't an eye watch or anything like that, but it was similar size and it was totally dead and I charged that up also. Oh, and I also charged her iPhone two or three times also. So this thing did a really good job. And like I said, when I got back, it was half. I actually had to ha add, you know, this Venus thing. I actually had to add that and the radio to dr draw it to nothing. So not too bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this thing. And I used, at one time I had probably four or five of the, uh, the USB ports used, at least four of them. So, and I did use pretty much all of them at one time or another. All right, so I'm not going to charge it all the way right now because I do want to do some solar and I want this thing to pull as much solar as we can get. So I want it, I actually wanted it kind of dead, but we're going to plug it in right now and just show you the screen on this thing. So let me plug this in. Okay, now it's showing you it's charging. 75 watts 76 watts it'll probably go up a little bit here let's keep an eye on it for just a few minutes and as you can see this shows your state of charge and these go down accordingly um, when i got home it was still on 50 percent but i charged a couple things here at the house and i'll show you what that was just to use some more of it up so it's taking 76 watts when we go through the specs on this thing i'll let you know what the actual time for fully charged it says like three hours to fully charge it. The solar panel charging, it has an MPPT solar controller inside, built inside, so that's great. Those are usually about 20% better than the PWM ones, so that's a good thing. The, um, the 
inverter is a pure sine wave inverter and we will check that out later also once we get this thing checked out we're going to get it you know charged back up and we'll hook some things up to it and that'll be part of the test also that's something i haven't done really or did i i might have done it once just to make sure it worked it's a 200 watt pure sine wave so it's probably 400 um, surge and then 200 maximum okay and we'll see how that works so it's it's gradually going up a little bit i saw 79 there I thought maybe someplace in here it told, but uh, we'll just keep it looking at it for just a few minutes here. We're going to let it charge a little bit, but like I said, I want this thing down so we can see how much uh, we can draw with the solar. Now, the solar right now, man, I have not had much light, not, not much sunlight here lately, but uh, hopefully we'll, pick, we'll get a day here that we can uh, see how it works, and I'll probably hook like a... I'll have to see what it'll take. I've got a, I've got a 60, I've got an 80, and I have a 200. I don't think it'll take 200, um, but a lot of times they'll take more than they actually show, and they would just, you know, gate it down to where it would only take so much. Maybe I'll, I'll, call, I'll make a call to them and find out. So, so far it hasn't charged up. It's, it's somewhere in, the, in the range of 76 to, to almost 80 watts going into it. So that's not too bad. On the onboard charger and i don't know if you guys can hear it let me move my microphone over there close to you guys there you go okay guys i would probably never do this on a really sunny day but i have no sun today this is a 200 watt solar panel i'm going to hook it to the solar generator and uh I'm getting about 24 watts, I think, but I have like really no sun. My other one was getting five watts. That was a that was this one here, which is a 60 watt, which is probably what I do most of the time. Maybe my 80, but uh, this one's set up really easy to do. And so let me set the camera up for you guys, and we'll we'll look we'll look this over. Okay, so let me hook this thing up. It goes into the input side here, just like the the 110 did. I'll push that in and it started charging there showing 25 watts i'm sure that's plenty we, we know it'll take that as far as the other one it was i got up to 85 watts charging it with the uh the 110 the let you know the regular plug in so that's pretty good this is a 200 watt so that shows you how bad and this thing does get pretty close to 200 and shows you how I don't really have any sun today so it's up to 28 there 27 and that's kind of how it did with the uh, the 110 also the 120 whatever you want to call it I'll look up to 29 there I will also put a link in the uh, description uh, for the, all these different panels that I have here and you guys if you're looking for panels it does help the channel if you guys buy off of that my Amazon stuff I'm affiliate with them it doesn't cost you any more but this, the channel gets a little bit of money all right, so right here we have a uh, gauge that will tell us whether this is a pure sine wave inverter. So let's just put the probes in here. And it does show that it is pure sine wave. It's not a square wave. And then if you look at the uh, hertz, it's uh, 59 hertz, which is usually 60 hertz. So that's about right. All right, so now let's get rid of this. All right, so it comes on. You hear, hear the little fan there when it came on. Let's plug this in. And this is a LED light that I use for lighting for my uh, work here. And you can see the light came on. It's drawn 23 watts. And this is 200 continuous. And it's uh, 400 in a short period for a burst. So I've got something else here. It's gonna be too much for it, but we're gonna show you how that works. This thing is really tight. So what I will say to you, let me actually hook my light back up for you guys. So I got the light in and on now, but I'm gonna put this, um, this is a, uh, it's for doing heat shrink. It's like a, a heat gun. And it's gonna put out 200, somewhere in the 250 range. So we'll plug it in. 
I'm going to turn it on. It's going to come on, but then it's going to eventually shut off because it's too high. It's going to be over the 200 mark. So here we go. So about 276. And then held it for a couple of seconds. And now it's showing an error here. So basically what we do is turn it off. Turn it back on. And now it's reset. All right. So it shows you that it does have its own self-protection too. Now the Afri Solar Generator, they're a fairly new company and I didn't have any reviews that I could go over. So I kind of took a chance. I looked it over. It looked like a pretty high quality product, which it is. So full disclosure, they did send this to me for a review and I get to keep it for the review and the video. They did not tell me what to put in my review or my video. All the comments that I made in this thing are my own. You guys know me, that's the way I am. Do I think this is pretty good? I, yes, I do. Uh, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna run, you know, super big stuff, uh, but it, it does do like your batteries, your cameras, um, maybe even laptops, I don't know, I didn't try that. And this thing lasted quite a while. Like I said in the video, I, I would, f was I gone four days and I, I use it exclusively for charging everything. My iPad, my streaming, all that stuff. If you guys like the video, please hit that like if you got something from it. And if you're new here, hit the uh, bell, hit all. That way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck KK6USY for Hammer Radio Ventures. Thanks, guys. Be safe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the airwaves. 73 all.